Hi everyone, this is Sean Chua from alevelh2chemistry.com Now in atomic structure, you learn about atomic orbitals which is the region whereby it has the highest probability of finding electrons around the nucleus and in atomic orbitals, there are four types that you learn S, P, D and F and in the examination, it's very common for you to be asked by the examiner to draw the S and the P orbitals and today, I'm going to share with you the shape of these two types of orbitals. Let's take a look at the board. Now, let's use uh, principal quantum shell number 2 as an example. So, uh, we have the orbitals uh, 2s and 2p orbitals. 2s orbitals, or rather the s orbitals is known to be spherical. Alright, so they are like a circle. So, you draw them like this, um, inside the axis of x, y, and z. So, that will be your 2s orbital. What about the 2p orbitals? There are three types known as px, py, and pz. So, what is the shape like? All right? The p orbitals are known to be dumbbell shape. All right? So, if it's known as 2px, it means the dumbbell is arranged in the direction of the x axis. So, it should look like this. All right? This will be your 2px orbital. What about 2py? Since PY, then it will be in the direction of Y axis. So it should look something like this. Alright, there will be your 2PY. Last but not least, your 2PZ orbitals, which must be aligned in the direction of the Z axis. Alright, so here you got it. Alright, the S orbital, spherical, as you can see here. The P orbitals, they are dumbbell shape and how are they being aligned? It's always in the direction of the axis that they represent. So Px towards the x, Py towards the y axis, and Pz towards the z axis. In this case, I'm drawing it diagonal. All right, I'm sure you learned something useful today. Do share with your friends. And if you want to know more about chemistry tips and discussion of questions, visit us at alevelh2chemistry.com or alternatively, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you and take care.